So new year, new rules, new plays, new just bunch of stuff in general. It's 2019 and the movie nerd is back. The true bubblegum and just win. I didn't feel like really finishing that quote because I'm not that creative. But I am here because I want to win. And so I'm going to beat Caleb and Henry today. But I still hope that they both play a very good game. I don't want to go up against any slack this day. Good luck to both of you. I'll see you on the other side. Well, 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 look who's back. It is me, the king. Uh, you saw me take out Jim. Yeah, there's a little bit of a roadblock there with all of us or whatever. But uh, when you see who I'm playing today, it seems like when you talk, you get what you want. Uh, because I finally get to take on Dominic Grizzy. He's a good player. He's a good player. I'm just a little bit better. And they put Henry in here. I don't know why. I'm going to smack the shit out of him. Uh, the moment that I beat Henry, he's going to go running back to his little confidential club and cry to his buddies. Uh, so this will be great. I uh, cannot wait to uh, end Henry's uh, run here in singles and to slay the mighty giant Dominic Grizzy. If he's Goliath, I'm David, and we all know how that story goes. It's a mad, 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 mad world, baby, and you're all just living in it. The Mad King is here. All hail the king. So I'm genuinely curious why we have a Game of Thrones person here, because this is movies. We don't need any Prince Joffreys in here, and I don't know what that one guy was talking about. There's no Richard Linklater. There's no slackers in this match. This is a match where... I am on my last limb. And what do they say? Never mess with somebody when he's desperate. Because guess what, guys? I'm on the road to 500 right now. I started off 0-2 in my career. My first loss was to Jen, which you can never be mad about, ever. And then I lost a tough one to Ryan. I, I took a break, came back, won a big match against Cesario, and now it's time to uh, shut some smack talkers up because I'm a nice guy now. So this is what I need to do. I have a vest, but it's just because it's my good luck, and I'm ready to rock. I think you guys are going to be the drums because it's time to beat you. Welcome, everybody, to another awesome edition of Full Metal Trivia Singles League. We have a great match in front of you today. We'll get to those introductions in just a second. But I am going to introduce right now one of my favorite people, one of my best friends, Jeff Varu. Jeff, I can't do this alone, buddy. You're here with me today. How are you doing? I can't do it alone either. I, I, I The kid actually Apparently. just literally woke up, so you know what? He's in the host training program, so he's going to shadow us for, for today's match because we got quite an interesting triple threat match here to kick off 2019. We got three individuals who are definitely outspoken and who definitely have their personas in the ring, but you know what? They let, as much as they do the talking, they let the trivia knowledge flow out of them just as good. I mean, these are three competitors who could easily come out with a W today, and I can't wait to see what happens. Absolutely, you know, and uh, Miles, you are always welcome to host with us. That is awesome. Uh, but you're absolutely right, Jeff. Uh, we do have some people here that know their trivia and uh, people that I have had the fortune of playing uh, against uh, mostly. I think one of them I don't think that I, I've played in teams before. But uh, you know what? I think that we should just get right into this match and hear what these guys have to say. What about you? Uh, man, I think I think we did enough talking already. I think these three are itching to get at each other. So you know what? Let's just let's don't waste any more time let's just get right into it all right and here are those introductions now introducing first uh, with a rank of one and one sorry a record of one and one with a strength of movie release dates and being late for everything we have the movie nerd dominic Rizzy! And one of his opponents, also with a record of one and one. He has a strength of Pixar, but also knocking out the favorites to win. He is the king, Caleb Coho! And their opponent with a record of one and two. His strengths include Kubrick and utilizing his challenge. It is Henry Buddy Boy Sanchez. All right, guys. Um, 
We are so we're going to roll right into round number one. Uh, Jeff, do you want to give them the rules for round number? One? One. Round one is very simple. Our competitors are going to get the same eight questions from eight different categories. They will then receive a 15-second count where they will write their answer down. After 15 seconds are up, they will then say and show what they have written down. Correct answers are worth one point. Incorrect answers gets you nothing. If a competitor goes eight for eight in round one, they will have a chance to go for a bonus question to go up a maximum of nine points going into round two. And just a reminder to our players, they will have three repeats to use throughout the match, as well as one challenge. That being said, Mr. Dominic Rizzi, are you ready? Yes, sir. King Caleb Coho, are you ready? Born ready. And buddy boy Henry Sanchez, are you ready? Uh, they say nice guys finish last, but at the end of the apartment, you got his girl. Let's do this. <laughs> good luck, gentlemen. Let's, let's have um, ourselves a good match. All right, I'm going to start everybody off with question number one. And your first question is in the category of sci-fi fantasy. In the film Solaris, starring George Clooney, what is Solaris? All right, getting everybody warmed up with a nice, good question. All right, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. We will start with, let's start right over with Henry. Henry, what do you got? I said a star. Ooh, I'm sorry, it's incorrect. Close. Caleb. I also said star. Ooh, I'm sorry. Nice guess. Dominic. Four between two. I think I went with the wrong one. I put the space station. Ooh, Ooh I'm Dominic. sorry. Unfortunately, the correct answer is Solaris is actually the name of the planet that the space planet. station is. Served. I almost switched it to moon, so I still would have been wrong. So I'm good. Yep. I was going to write planet. I was well, I've seen you okay. remake. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be have a perfect round today. But you know what? We still got a lot more questions to go because we're going to go into question number two in the category of scores and soundtracks. Which musical artist performed the James Bond title credits song "Writings on the Wall"? I just rewatched this, and it's good. It's solid. It's a solid enough movie. I remember when the song came out, there was a lot of flack for it. But I am one of the defenders. I, I enjoy this song a lot. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right. Caleb, let's see if you got the right answer. The male Adele, Sam Smith. That, that is, is correct. correct. On, on both fronts. Dominic. Actually. That's right. Sam Smith. There you go. Nice. And Henry. And Henry. The female Adele. Adele. <laughs> The real female <laughs> Adele. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. All right. Question number three comes in the category of recent releases. Which actress plays a fashionable young mom who mysteriously goes missing in A Simple Favor? Henry and I started writing this down before you even finish. <laughs> there seems to be some fans of this movie. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, <laughs> one of my wife's favorite movies this year. So or I actually haven't seen this one yet. This was one I completely missed out on. Five, four. It's not like Henry has three, it on his wall behind. Him. <laughs> one. Let's go. Uh, all right, Dominic. Did you have the right answer? Blake Lively. That, that is, is correct. correct. All right, Henry. Blake. She may or may not be so lively. There we go. And Caleb. Blake Lively. There you go. Very nice. Good job, guys. Love it, guys. All right. Your fourth question, gentlemen, is going to come to you in the category of comedy. What is the profession of the protagonist in the 80s comedy The Three Amigos? I love this movie. Me too. I mean, it, it's, it's so tempting to not do the salute right now. You're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> See, Sandy? See, this is why. <laughs> Same wave. We'll go in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down, and we will start back with Henry. I just said musician. I don't know. 
Mm, oh, close, but no. Uh, Caleb. I said travel agent because I didn't know if the mariachi thing was his job. Mm, that's not correct either. Dominic, did you get the right answer? An actor? They are actors. right actors. Correct. All three of them are acting, thinking that they're doing a, a, a movie for something. So, nice. All right, guys. That brings us to question number five. Category is Geek Squad. Which film in the Star Wars franchise features the characters Bib Fortuna, Max Rebo, Salacious Crumb, and Nien Num? What one of my one of my favorite characters? <laughs> I'm a big Salacious Crumb fan, so yeah. Salacious Crumb's good stuff. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down, and we will go to Caleb first. That'd be Return of the Jedi. That, that is, is correct. correct. Awesome, Dominic. Return of the Jedi. Mmm, nice. And Henry. And Henry. I had the Empire Strikes Back. Ooh, I'm sorry. All right, gentlemen, your sixth question is going to come to you in a new category that is making quite the waves already, and that is non-U.S. films. Director David Cronenberg made films such as Scanners in what country of origin? I will say this, that I missed this question in testing. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Can but I go do, in? do like scanners, though. Me too. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go to Dominic first. Dominic. Wrong. Sweden. Ooh, you are right. You are, that is wrong. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Henry. Said Germany. Ooh, Sorry, no, unfortunately. Incorrect. And Caleb. I said Norway. All Ooh, on the geez. wrong side of the world. The I correct think. answer is... The Jeff? hat the hat to America. Good old Canada. Uh, of course. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. Absolutely. All right, guys. Uh, question number seven. Your penultimate question in this round is in the category of family film. We got rid of animation and put in family films. What film starred Emma Roberts as a teenage detective? I have not seen Holly. this movie. <laughs> I don't think anybody else really did either. I've seen it. Ah, Bye. Okay. Prove me wrong. One person has seen this. Three, two, one. Pens down. All right, we're going to go back over to Henry first. Henry. I didn't even have a guess. <laughs> All right. Caleb. Uh, I said Nancy Drew. That, that is, is correct. correct. And Dominic. Nancy Drew. There it there is. There it is. All right, gentlemen. All right, yeah. Your final question of round one is going to come to you in the category of... Oscars. Oh, yes. Which actor won Best Supporting o Actor Oscars for the films Hannah and Her Sisters and The Cider House Rules? I've seen The Cider House Rules. Not bad. I've seen both. Oh, so actually, I've not seen Hannah and Her Sisters, but Cider House Rules is okay. It's okay. Go in... Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right. Let's start with. Uh, let's start with Caleb. That will be Michael Caine. Michael Caine is, is correct. correct. And Dominic. Nice. Michael is correct. Henry. I didn't have it. I actually was thinking Michael Caine too, which is weird. Oof. All right, guys, round number one is completed, and I've got some scores for you guys. In the lead with six points, Dominic Rizzi is winning. Right behind him is Caleb with five points. And in the least point position, 
is Henry with one point, but that is absolutely nothing, nothing to be afraid of because our new system allows for catching up like you wouldn't believe. So everybody, round number two is going to work exactly like this. The person in the lead will decide on whether or not they want to go first. There are 12 categories on the wheel all and also three colors on the reel. Those colors are red, white, and black. Uh, the 12 categories I will give as soon as we have the order in which we were going to go for. Um, you will be able to pick your category. You will receive four questions in that category. You can opt to go to multiple choice, which will drop the point level from two to one point. There is stealing in this, so remember multiple choice being important and also your repeats and your challenge. Does anybody have any questions going on? Can we just point oh, out right. right now that Dominic at Blue probably one of the biggest bubbles I've seen played in this game right now. <laughs> it's, it's sitting in I the corner like to, a baby. I love it. <laughs> I was trying not to get distracted. But it was right there, but. All right, so Dominic, you are in the lead, so you can choose to go first, second, or third. What would you like to choose? First, please. All right. And that means that you... Yeah, so you get to choose now, uh, Dominic, your color. What color would you like? Black. Always bet on black. All right, so we will go to uh, we will go to Caleb next. Caleb, you are second. Uh, would you like to go second or third? We'll go second. Why not? All right. And what color would you like? Um, red's never failed me so far, so let's go with red. All right. Which well, leaves Henry as third, and his color is white. All right. All right. Well, Sandy, while you bring up the wheel, you want, I'll read the question. I'll read the categories to our yeah. competitors for tonight. So, gentlemen, your categories for tonight: we have action, movie villains, sports movies, alien invasion movies, movie speeches, recent releases, Paul Rudd, Oscars, actor actress filmography. You'll be you'll be given movies. You only have to name the actor or actress. And then the strengths of Stanley Kubrick for Henry, Pixar for Caleb, and release dates for Dom, and then the respective colors for everybody. Perfect. All right, Dominic, are you ready to go? I've got the fancy Nancy wheel out front here. I'm ready. And your spin is in. Uh-oh. Action. Action. Would you like to keep that or respin? Spin again. All, All right. right. Spinning away from action. Whatever you land on, you will get that category. Oh, oh ho, ho. it is it. on the color white. The color white. So. Henry, buddy boy, Sanchez, you now get to pick the category for Dominic. What would you like to choose? Kubrick. Interesting. Okay. All right. Very interesting indeed. All right, saying I got the questions up. I can read the qu I can read them to Dominic then when he's if you want. Got it, buddy. All right, Dom, are you ready for your first question in Stanley Kubrick? Yes, I am, Jeff. All right, here we go. First question. What is the name of the spacecraft that Dave, Frank, and the HAL 9000 are aboard in 2001 A Space Odyssey? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Icarus 1, B, Discovery 1, C, Hunter 4, or D, Cygnus X1. A, Icarus 1. That is incorrect. Quick five count for our competitors. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Henry, what do we got? I said B. That is correct for one point steal. And Caleb. 50 50. I went D. Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. 
All right, Dominic, your second question. Which Kubrick film has this narration? I'm in a world of shit. Yes, but I am alive, and I am not afraid. Pads of Glory, final answer. That is incorrect. Another quick five count. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Caleb, what do we have? I said Full Metal Jacket. That is correct for a two-point steal. And Henry? Full Metal Jacket. That is correct also for a two-point steal. Woof. This is huge. Very huge. Third question. Dick Halloran asked young Danny Torrance telepathically if he wants what food item in The Shining? Uh, some ice cream. Final answer. That is correct. Two points. Good job, Dom. Bouncing back. And your final question. Which actor stars as the character Johnny Clay in The Killing? Multiple choice. Your options are A. Sterling Hayden B. Frank Silvera C. Tony Curtis or D. James Mason B. That is incorrect. Quick five count. Five, four, three, two, and one. Markers down. Henry, what do we got? Sterling Hayden. That is correct for one point steal. And Caleb. Says C. Ooh, I am sorry. Mm. That is incorrect. Interesting right. round. Interesting round indeed. Yeah, it is definitely, definitely interesting at this point. Uh, we had some pretty decent steals from Henry uh, to, to, to get him back in contention. Uh, you know, but nothing, uh, nothing's out of the realm right now. We got two more turns to go and lots of steals to be had. So, uh, Caleb, it is your turn. You chose the color of red is where you will start. Are you ready for your round? Round and around it goes. Looks like it is going to stop on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Whoa. I like that. Whoa. That color like is red. Ooh. Uh, can I hear the categories again? Sure. Again, your categories are action, movie villains, sports movies, alien invasion movies, movie speeches, recent releases, Paul Rudd, Oscars, actor, actress filmography. Pixar and release dates. As tempting as both release dates and Oscar sound, I'm gonna stick with Pixar. All right. All right. Figured, bud. Uh, this is tempting. It's tempting. Um, I'll let, I'll let uh, Henry try and get those. Interesting, indeed. All right, I can read these ones to Caleb. <sighs> All right, Caleb, your category is Pixar, and you get four questions. Are you ready? Yep. Question number one. What is the first name of the boy who Violet had a crush on in Incredibles 2? It is Tony, Tony, Tony Ridinger. That is correct Ridinger. for two Ridinger. points, nice. Two points. Your second question. In Toy Story 2, Flick and Heimlich have a cameo at the end, in the end credit outtakes and are knocked out of the bushes by whom? Buzz Lightyear, final answer. For two more, more points. Ah, oh, wow. All right. Number three. Finish this line from Coco. A minute ago, I thought I was related to a blank. You're a total upgrade. <sighs> I think I got a guess. Murderer, final answer. For Correct. two points. More, two more points. Wow. Fuck, I would have had that, Caleb. Good pull. Shit. Uh, I, and, oh. and to finish out your round, number four. Okay. Which actor, which actor provides the voice of Water Moose, sorry, Water, water Moose, Moose in Monsters, Inc.? Multiple <sighs> choice i'll not want to hear it your multiple choice options are a christopher Plummer, b james coburn c ed asner or d ned Beatty. b 
be James Coburn. For Nine one point. point. Nicely wow. done. Steamrolled through that round. Good job, Caleb. Just like I would have did in Cooper. Seven of eight, you got seven of eight. That, would have, that was impressive. That was impressive. And we roll around finally to Henry. He's already landed on his color once, and that's where he will start. Are you Are you ready, Henry? Let's see. <laughs> oh, save. That yeah. is release I'm gonna, dates. I'm going to have to take it. Okay. Hey. Go with release dates. All three strengths have been picked for this round. Very interesting All indeed. Right. All right. I got those questions up for him then when he's ready. So. All right, Henry, you ready for, for your questions in recent in, uh, release dates? Let's get uh, Dom's strength. All right. Your first question. What year saw the release of the documentary Hoop Dreams? Great documentary. Mm -hmm. 1993. That is incorrect. Quick five count. Five, four, three, two, and one. Markers down. Dominic, what we got? 95. That is incorrect. Caleb. Is it 1997? Ooh. Incorrect as well. Henry, Dom, you guys were Couple dancing sandwiches. around it. 1994 was the answer. Fair. Uh, yeah. Brooklyn Vale is alive and well in, re in season three, gentlemen. <laughs> Your second question, Henry. What year saw the release of the films A Scanner Darkly and Tenacious D and The Pick of Destiny? Five. 2006. Correct for, for two, two points. points. Nicely done. All right. Third question. In what year were the following horror remakes released? The Crazies, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and The Wolfman. Two thousand ten. Correct for two, two more points. points. Nicely done. And your final question in the category of release dates. What decade saw the release of the films Tank, Murphy's Romance, and Everybody's All-American? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, the 1950s, B, 1960s, C, 1980s, or D, the 2000s. Four. Can you repeat the options? Your options again are A, the 1950s, B, the 1960s, C, the 1980s, or D, the 2000s. Five. Four. Three. Two. And can you repeat the whole question and the options one more time? Okay. Your first repeat. Mm -hmm. What decade saw the release of the films Tank, Murphy's Romance, and Everybody's All-American. A, the 1950s, B, the 1960s, C, the 1980s, or D, the 2000s? The 60s. That is incorrect. Quick five count. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. Caleb, what do we have? Uh, I saw the 1950s. That is incorrect. Dominic? The 80s. It is indeed Correct. the 1980s. Tank. Never heard of any three of those. <laughs> oh, I was saying, everybody's all Americans is uh, probably the one I, I most associate with in this list. <laughs> all right, guys, we are back. And after that amazing round number two, we have a score change. We have in the lead with an amazing round two, uh, Caleb Coho with 14 points followed closely behind both 
Dominic and Henry. Henry with an amazing comeback to get nine points apiece. And we are about to get into our new round number three. It is our movie awesomeness round. I love this round. It is so fantastic. I like that name uh, better. <laughs> movie awesomeness. That's awesome. <laughs> Round three rules are each players will pick each player will pick a number between one and twelve. The player in the lead picks their number first. Player in the last a player in last chooses last. In the event of a tie, it will be uh, it will be the higher ranked competitor. Each number corresponds with a movie title. Each player will be given five questions that pertain to that specific movie. Each question is worth two points. There is no multiple choice and no stealing from rival players. The player that is behind will start answering questions first, and the player in the lead will answer last. Players can confer on their answers, especially only if you're in teams, but you can talk to yourself if you'd like. Each, each player will go back and forth answering questions from their given movie until there are TKOs or until a player, two players, are mathematically all right caleb you are in the lead first you okay. pick a number between one and twelve your categories are casablanca 12 angry men monty python and the holy grail rocky raiders of the lost ark die hard a league of their own forrest gump Bad Boys, 1995. Lord of the Ring, Return of the King. Serenity, 2005. And There Will Be Blood. Caleb, 1 to 12. What would you like to pick? 4. Caleb picks number 4. Okay. Alright. Dominic, you are... The higher ranked competitor in this uh, in this match, so you will pick your number next. I'm gonna go number nine. Okay. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. And Henry, you will pick last. Four and nine are off the table. What number would you like to pick? Uh, I'm shooting for my second win. Let's go two. Two. Interesting, interesting choices we have selected right now. All right, so Caleb, you chose number four. You are in the lead, so you will not hear yours first. Neither will Dominic. Henry, you right now are behind and need to answer your first question in order to push it back to Dominic. You chose number two. That corresponds with the movie Casablanca. Okay. All right. Henry, these are all questions in the movie Casablanca. Each question is worth two points. Are you ready? Always be all right. Perfect. Your first question Casablanca is located in what African country? Gonna go in five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. It's my second. Yes, it is. Your second repeat. Casablanca is located in what African country? Five. Three, two, Kenya. Ooh, unfortunately, that is not correct. The know, answer we're looking for is Morocco or French Morocco. All right. Question number two stays with Henry. What is the first name of Captain Renault, played by Claude Rains? Um, oh. 
Louis. That is correct. Two points. Nicely done. All right. Perfect. Takes so now little... we move. We switch over to Dominic now. Do. So, Dominic, you chose movie number nine. The film that you chose is the immortal sports classic, A League of Their Own. Okay. Okay. All right. Dominic, your first question. The film focuses on the Rockford Peaches, an all-women baseball team who played in what Midwestern United States state? If I'm not mistaken, Midwest, I believe that's Ohio. Nope. That is incorrect. The answer is Illinois. Illinois. Rockford, yep. Illinois. We're going to stick with Dom now for a second question. Yep. Dottie, played by Gina Davis, plays which baseball position? Isn't she catcher? For two points, she was indeed point. the catcher. I was nervous. That's... <laughs> I was nervous. That ties it back too. up. All right. That means we move back over to Henry because uh, Caleb is ahead. So, Henry, your next question in Casablanca. As soon as I get back up there. This is the third question, right? Number it three, is yes. number three of five. What is the title of Rick and Ilsa's song, which Ilsa asks Sam to play? As time goes by. For two points. Nicely done. That means we jump back over to Dominic. Back Dominic. Beautiful song. Back over for Dominic for question number three. Play it again, Sam. What real-life actor and director plays team owner Walter Harvey? Actor and director. Gary Marshall. Damn it. Correct for two, two points. points. Ties it up again and keeping this game close. It's got some good news here. If you get this quite both of you get this question right, we go to Caleb. So that's that's some, some good news. Henry, your fourth question in Casablanca is Ilsa and Laszlo are trying to obtain letters of transit so they can flee from the Germans and go where? America. For two points. And the lead. All right. Nicely done. So we're gonna, we're gonna go over to Dominic for his fourth question. Then after that, Caleb gets a chance to maybe answer a question or two. We'll see what happens. Hey. But for right now, we gotta focus on Dom. So Dom, your fourth question in a league of their own. What is the full name of the manager played by Tom Hanks? Um, that would be James Jimmy Dugan. For two <laughs> for points. Two points. Nicely wow. done. And for a tie of the lead. All right, guys. So that means right now both Henry and, and Dominic have scored. I've uh, gotten to 15 points. So we are going to move to Caleb finally. And Caleb chose the number four. Caleb, are you interested to know what you got? If I must. You, I hope you've been listening to one Robert Parker because you picked... Lord of the Rings, Return Mother. of the King. Uh oh, this could be interesting. <laughs> of course. All right. All right. All righty, guys. That's perfect. If I don't get any of these right, I'm going to get an earful in the ride to Chicago. All right. <laughs> yes, you are. Your first question in the Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. In the prologue, what are Smeagol and Deagle doing when they find the One Ring? Uh, they're fishing. For two points and the lead. I had that, Caleb. Good job. <sighs> All right, so that pushes us back over to the five-point questions of both Henry and Dom. Henry, you're five-pointer. We get what you mean. Five yeah, we know what you mean. 
the number five question in Casablanca is finish this line spoken by Louis. Round up the blank. It's a two word answer. Usual suspects. For two points and the lead again. Nicely done. At this point, I don't even care if how you guys do. I had one point and I got 17 in total. Good luck, guys. Let's do this. All right. Puts us back over to Good a dumb. league of their own. Dominic, you hit this, you stay alive. Your final question. Dottie makes the cover of a magazine when she is photographed catching a ball while doing what move? The name of the move? What what is she doing? What I say like what specifically was she doing? Oh. Standing there? That is, that is unfortunately not correct. correct. It was She's she doing was the split. split. Oh. So ah, unfortunately that. Dominic has been eliminated. That is correct, but nothing. I beat be I beat Dominic Grizzly. That's all that matters. Congratulations. All right. You accomplished something in your life. I've accomplished many things, but this feels great. But our attentions uh, right now shift to Mr. Koho, who currently has four questions remaining. I like her eyes. That's just in a movie I've never seen. Let's do this. All right, Caleb. Here you never seen this? Never You're seen s- any of them, Henry. <laughs> Holy shit. You should, you should hear uh, an earful on the ride to Chicago from Robert just on that Robert, period. So Robert, Robert's going to sit me down and make me watch all three extended cuts on the drive from Wisconsin to freaking Chicago. I am right there with him. Perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. To take back the lead and win the game. All right. Well, let's take out four shots with this. Your second question is, Gollum leads Frodo and Sam down a secret passage when they arrive in what city in Mordor? We're gonna go in. Gondor. Oh, that is not correct. Minas Tirith? It is not. Minas it's Minas Morgul. Uh, that, that. Question number three, a third chance to win the game. Which character is played by actor Martin Kasakas? It couldn't be. If you're going to go for an obscure one, you can't even go for Ian Holm, help a brother out. Um, God. Okay, Martin Kasakas. Uh, um. Going to go in five. Four, three, two. On. That is not correct, unfortunately. The answer is Celeborn. Celeborn. Never would have got that one. That's tough. That was a good one. Hey, Robert, you want to just <laughs> vibe me the answer here, buddy? <laughs> All right, question number four of five. And another chance to end the game. Caleb. Okay. How did Lord Denethor commit suicide? I know that name. I gotta know the scene. Suicide. Oh my god. We're gonna go in. Five. Four. Three. Repeat the question. Okay. okay, Caleb's first. Re- Question number four in the Return of the King. How? How did Lord Denethor commit suicide? Falls on his sword. That is not correct. He jumped to his death. He jumped from the top of Minas Tirith while he was oh, burning. I think I knew that. Oh. Okay. This is where right. it gets interesting. Right, last shot. This is it. What we have here, folks, oh, is a nail biter. It's a nail biter, and it, I'm going to tell you why. We had one player start 
He's and is round one with one point and is now in the lead. The person who killed round number two is now at his last opportunity to take the lead and win the game. Caleb, your fifth question in the Lord of the Rings Return of the King is okay. what phrase completes this quote spoken by Gimli? Certainty of death, small chance of success. What could go wrong? And your winner in one of the most amazing comebacks of all time, Henry Buddy Boy Sanchez. The answer we were looking for was, what are we waiting for? Uh. Oh my God, Jeff. Oh, oh. I am absolutely. I I'm ecstatic for Henry and the match. I am crushed for Caleb. Uh, what what is going through your head, buddy? Holy <laughs> man! You know, this is everything you could want out of this new round three. You had a I say you had suspense from the moment Caleb started answering, and it's just been. A nail biter, and oh my god, I'm, I'm you n never count the person that's coming behind out for a second because you never know when stuff like this is gonna happen. This was a match, ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 I'm saying this for the record, and I'm gonna say it over and over again. That is what I said at the beginning of this match when I talked about round three. After Round one, I said there is nobody that is so far behind that you cannot come back in this new format. Jeremy Adams is absolutely a boss that came up with this new format. It is it is going to haunt people, but it is going to make people extraordinarily happy. Uh, this match is going to go down as, as, as a classic uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but you know what? Let's not talk about us because we didn't play this match. Let's go to our winner, Henry Buddy Boy Sanchez. Henry, uh, what is going through your head right now how do you feel give it to us all the only thing i was wondering was the last thing it went through his head other than that bullet holy shit guys this one was this was fun this is all i wanted this 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 was a, a small little low-key rivalry that we had just of a bunch of guys who just like to talk smack and just you know have have some characters and stuff and i called out dom caleb called out me we made it a triple threat and I, I'm telling you, this would be one where you give us best of seven, you probably have, it goes to seven somehow in a three. Like, there's a way. I don't know. I was honestly expecting to go to potentially sudden death with Dom. I thought potentially Caleb was going to TKO us. I never in a million years would have thought I got it. I mean, Casablanca's in my top 50 of all time, but it's that's you never know what you're going to get with these. There's some tough questions. Return of the King, I, that, those are some tough ones, buddy. The uh, Obviously, you haven't seen the movie, so, you know, that that's tough. But I still, I think I only would have gotten two out of the five. So that, that was rough. Great match, guys. I'm I'm curious to see what's gonna what you guys have in store for me. I'm glad that I can officially finish my redemption tour at this point. Now I'm happy with no matter what happens. Two and two, lost. I don't care anymore. I just want to have fun. You guys are great. This was awesome. 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 Uh, Henry, uh, what are you looking forward to next? What are, what, what are you looking... What, what's your next... Who do you want to call out? Is there anybody that you want to call out? Your record is 2-2 two and two right now. You're looking to get to the 3-4 win range to count yourself in, in, into, the, you know, into, the, into the title pitcher. What do you want to do? Uh, I, don't, I don't even have any... You know, I went from one and two where it's like I have no idea if I'll ever be able to play anybody. And I got lucky that I had two guys that were one and one. I don't know who I match up with. So right now I'm at a point where I just want to be humble and just play whoever and, you know, study my ass off and fight and just give whoever I have the best battle that they're ever going to have. Um. All right. Well, you know what? Absolutely. Uh, Henry, you know what? Uh, that was one of, like I said before, one of the most amazing comebacks I've ever seen before. Uh, we are going to, however, go over to our second place finisher, uh, Caleb, uh, the King, Coho. Uh, you know what? You got your namesake in a movie and it just didn't turn out your way. You hadn't seen that movie. Uh, I know it must be hurting right now, but you 
you had an amazing round two. Uh, what are you looking forward to next, and how do you feel about your overall performance? Uh, I think I murdered this. I thought I think I played a great game. Me and Rizzy uh, played exactly identical. Uh, if you break it down to accuracy, both of us went 10 for 15. Uh, Henry went 7 for 15. So in my eyes, accuracy-wise, I, I took this to sudden death with one of the greats in Dominic Rizzi. Uh, Henry pulled the greatest comeback out of his ass, and that's all Henry can be proud of. Uh, what, what the hell, man? That was great. Um, but uh, <laughs> fucking Lord of the Rings, man. What are you going to do? That's the one movie I didn't want. That's the one I pulled. I knew that quote. If I thought about it for five more seconds, I probably would have got it. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, as soon as I as soon as I heard it, I was like, "Oh shoot, I knew that." So that's that's what's frustrating me is that I actually kind of knew that one. Um, Got to watch Lord of the Rings, uh, and um, I want the rematch. Uh, I don't need to play Dom ever again. I feel good. I beat him. Um, I I want to play Headley again because I want I want to take Mister One for Eight and drag him through the mud uh, and send him back to Confidential Cinema in a body bag. So I uh, I want the rematch, and I'll do whatever I have to to get the rematch. I'm not wearing this crown for show. I'm wearing it because I am the goddamn king, and I'm going to prove it on this next title run. Yeah, I lost to Henry because I fucked up a quote in one of the movies that I haven't seen. Bring me back. Bring me back. I'll, I'll kill whoever's in my way, and I'll take that run. I'll take that belt. Hen Henry's just on the path that I'm taking to the title. You line him up, I'll knock him down, and uh, that, that belt is mine. That title's mine. I've always wanted it. And I'm coming for it. Awesome. Well, you know what? I love the enthusiasm, Caleb. You're you're one of our favorite competitors over in singles. And as you can see, you can you can be zero and two and and come back in this league. Nobody is out forever. So it is. Uh, you see, it is. Sandy, I am one of the best in the show, and you will know exactly what that means soon. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Awesome. Well, you know what, Caleb? We're looking forward to whatever you bring into the league. Thanks so much for playing today. Rough round three, but you had an amazing round one and two. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of. 16 points. You were right there. Had it under the palm of your head. Just, uh, unfortunately, the movie you had just didn't work out for you. Uh, let's go to our third place contestant, uh, Dom. Dominic Rizzi. Uh, you had... You had the unluckiest spin of round number two, which uh, gave Henry the option of giving you a, a choice, and he he stuck you with Kubrick. Uh, it worked well for him. It didn't work out quite so well for you. Uh, how are you feeling about your overall performance? Because you played amazing in round three. Um, what are you looking forward to, and how do you feel about your your performance today? Well, not. Well, first of all, let me just apologize for the background noise uh, interrupted by the roommates coming in. That's good old oh, stuff. And uh, no but that's why I have the wireless headphones here. Oh, you're good. So, yeah, I got screwed on round two. It's not at all unfair to say. And I clearly need to watch more obscure Cooper's movies. And Caleb, Caleb is running his little mouth uh, on us continually, as per usual, because he thinks he's better than he really is. And when in reality, he missed every single question in round three. On Return of the King, give me a fucking break. I'm going to come yeah, back, I'm going to kick his little ass, show him who's boss, like usual. And then I'm going to come after Henry, and then I'm going to keep winning. This is merely just a fluke, as is every loss of mine. Awesome. Well, you know what, Dominic? What, you get... I said it to Caleb. I said it to Henry. You guys are three of the the three of the our favorite competitors here. You played an amazing match. Fifteen points. Nothing to slot to, 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 to be ashamed about. You went right down to the wire. You answered the questions that you needed to to keep it close. Uh, you just had a bit of unlucky, uh, a bit of an unlucky match today. But we are looking forward to having you back soon. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's going to be fantastic, uh, Jeff. The, they said it all. I mean, you know, you, you can get one point in round one and win a match. That's what's so awesome about yeah. uh, that's what's so awesome about the metal singles is that anybody on any given day can, can win a match uh, as, as long as you keep trying, keep plugging away, drag that information from the back of your head and then and, and throw that out there. Uh, final thoughts, buddy? I mean... You know, I, I always say it comes down to the right question at the right time as, as we're currently choking on our own spit right now. You know, it, it, it really just does. It comes down to the right question, the right time. And, you know, round one, it, it is what it is for people sometimes, you know. Sometimes people bloom late or mid-game. And Henry clearly showed that. I mean, even though round one didn't go 100% his way, he blossomed really well in round two and in round three. 
but you know what? Caleb and Dom are going to bounce back from this loss very, very easily because this was a close game. I mean, th when you look at the first place you know, with Henry and Dom, it's a difference of two points. This really just came down to a numbers game. It was a sequential yet match. This, re this really could have swung in any of the three ways, and that just shows how great these competitors are. All it takes is one question, and it was just the right questions at the right time for Henry. So congratulations, Henry, on the win. Caleb and Dom, you guys will easily bounce back, believe me. And you know what, folks? Those are the perfect words to end this on for Jeff, for Caleb, for Dominic, for Jeremy, for Henry, our winner today. I am Merely Sandy, the Sandman Robinson here at Full Metal Trivia. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It has been an amazing match, and we cannot wait to keep bringing you guys this entertainment. So like, comment. Share with us. Give us some information. Tell us something about yourselves. If you want to play, let us know. We've got Full Metal Classic, Full Metal Teams, Full Metal Geek, if geek is what your thing is, is about. I have, a, I have a date with a couple of people that just played today in an upcoming Full Metal Geek match. So you know you're what? Gonna, you're going down, Sandy. We'll see. Uh, the only person on this uh, panel that has, has beat me in geek is that one right there, Dominic. So, uh, But... For me and everybody that you've seen here today, Full Metal Trivia, thanks you so much. We are out, and as always, have fun, watch movies.